Disclaimer. This video is part of a playthrough of the game Hello Charlotte Heaven's Gate. Because the game doesn't have audio, all the sound effects, BGMs, ambient sounds and so on are from different sources. All the original sources of each audio effect is linked in the description. Interlude. It's quiet in the mind library. Oh. Hey. Don't you think the education system is flawed? Okay, we got that right. Okay, think of For example, one good thing that could be good to learn is taxes. How to do taxes? How to do the state tax? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, for real one. Interlude. Rationality. Mr. Honecker. Oh, hi, Bennett. Actually, you're like mm, you're nice and green like that. 17. Trust. Vincent peeks over my shoulder, startling with his voice. Are you writing something? <laughs> this very comes as a writing. This was writing. Bell steps over the bench, now facing me directly. Are you dissatisfied with what you're making? No, not exactly. Not more than usual. It's just... I don't know how to communicate my thoughts to others. The whole plot looks too... contrived. I'd stop reading after the first page. Hmm. Okay, this sounds really not good. Because, um... There's something here. Because... If you think like that, then it's like a ball. Watching the first video of... Someone who posted... Literally a lot of videos. And, well, the person who made that video just looking at it just goes, Nah, 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 no, no, no. Definitely also not me. Well, te technically, because actually, the question is, what is content my first video that I posted? Was it the video that, is it one of the videos that are now deleted? Or is it, is it the first, the clip that I posted on my YouTube channel? Or is it, well, the first video I really actually edited. Because the first clip, yeah, I like it. The first video. Um, yeah, 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 too. It's not so long. It's, it's also not too short. It could have been edited a bit better, though. Which I data did. And uh, yeah, the, the literally the first video I've ever... Created, yeah, no, 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 that is somewhere else, that is, no. Yes, it was actually low effort. <clears throat> anyway. Do you think your videos are stupid? No. If anything, it's my own fault that I'm a Columbic writer, not theirs. Then, do you not trust them? I don't. I mean, I really want to. But I'd be lying if I said I did. I see. If you can't bring it around no matter what, why not prove that you yourself can be trusted? Vincent leans closer into my personal space, making me recoil a bit. Oh, Jesus. I mean, understandable. This looks like he, he wants to... wants to tell you, Hey, you know, there's a body in the third floor. Right around the closet. So, you wanna check it out? Or, if you tell, I told you my secret. So, will you be my best friend? Or, will you be the second body in the closet? Like, for real? My god, this looks, this looks fishing terrifying. And then we have Charles who's like, Uh, I don't know how to feel right now. Now that you've done your research, that you're knowledgeable about the subjects you're handling. That you're involved as much as your reader is. That, you, you're, that you're prepared to bear your mind and so. His presence suddenly overbearing Vincent looms over me. My breathing hitches. I feel small. Wouldn't I be making a fool out of myself if I admit my weaknesses? Yes, it'll make you vulnerable. It'll leave you in the open. 
naked in public. Hmm. Gets out. Okay. Come, cop a feel. For one ninety nine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling right? <laughs> the price tag ruined it for me. You, yet still, you'll be the one in control. Because it was your conscious, conscious decision to reel the information and your whole power over it. With those words, Vincent leaves my personal bubble and drops on a bench, a bench beside me. Having nothing to hide puts you at both an advantage and disadvantage, but my disadvantage. But my opinion is that it's worth it. Ah, I suppose that's one way to go about it. If it were me, I'd rather have the work exist separately from its offer. If anything, I'd prefer working as anonymously as possible. Yes, I'm not saying my approach would work for each and every person. You should choose what suits you best. But most importantly, don't underestimate your readers. Make them feel like your story is the best thing they'll ever experience. Make them feel like they can only feel that way with you. And there you have it, a story you can be proud of. <laughs> the way you put it sounds like selling your mind to others. <laughs> Does it? I'd call it sharing. Besides, being insincere in your work will result in flavorless throwaway texts. Do you want to write disposable garbage like that? Mr. Fairline, you're intense. That's a lot of knowledge for someone as young as you, Mr. Fennel. I'm just saying what I've learned from more experienced writers. And I suppose I'm really passionate about writing. My mind for a second there. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Is he writing something too? You just look like you need our advice. Are the words I chose enough? Yeah, thanks. I owe you one. Actually, would you like to read what I've written so far? Think I could use some feedback. Sure. I'll expect mercy. Bring it on. I'll fetch you my notebook next week then. There's a lot written, so you can take your time with it. Our conversation is cut off by the ringing school bell. During our final high school year... Oh, we were still in high school? What? Okay. Not questioning about the drugs and the alcohol there. Because, hey, you know, I don't know how old they are now, so... Yeah, but still... Mm. Vincent joins the student council and invites me to do the same. Didn't you mention that you wanted to influence school life if possible? I believe it's a good opportunity to do so. I think it's not about good ideas, but rather the ability to, con to convince others. Which is something you have. And right now, I'm using it to convince you to try it. Ah, so persistent. Okay, fine, I'll take along. Success. You'll definitely regret it. Uh, wait, that's the opposite of words of encouragement. <laughs> It's past 6 p.m. We're once of the last students leaving school. I stretch and allow myself to let out a prolonged yawn. Today's meeting was so tiring. I need a no people day soon. Hmm. I can understand that. There's Vincent who talked during the whole meeting. How do you even have energy for all that arguing? <laughs> I just enjoy good discussions. Discussion. More like uncivilized Discourse, dis discourse. Everyone was basically trying to shout louder than the others. Running, isn't it? I can't believe you. I'm joking. It was indeed a bit tiring. I'm not a big fan of the noise. However, I didn't. F I don't feel like going home just yet. Well, the weather's the weather's not bad. I was planning to invite you for a walk anyway. All right. Should we walk in silence for a while? Good plan. Let my vision lose focus and feel the world around me slow down. We part ways after an hour of strolling around the park. Feeling re-energized, I spent the whole evening leisurely studying subjects ahead of the program. Social media. Oh boy. 
We are waiting for the tank next class to start. Henrietta sits near me on the window sill, closing off with a gem gem book, textbook in her hands. I'm tired of social media. Everyone's talking so much, but no one's talking about things that really matter. I mean, now they do, but they, but they can, but it is, mm, <laughs> and I feel bad for contributing. And we are yawns and switches, then pitches in my nose. What do you think people should be talking about then, genius? And who are you to decide what matters and what doesn't? Shut it. I know. I'm just saying how I feel. And I feel tired. Your judgments are useless then. It's like wanting a teenage melodrama to have a deeper meaning. Want something profound? Read a book. Or go talk to Fennel. It's like a combination of a therapist and, and a saint, so no wonder you love that. Way to terrorize him. He's like a god. Okay, Charles, you take it a bit of far here. A human. You're just biased because he validates you. Okay, good one. Still, I don't get it. What's so good about him? Aren't you singing him praises just because he's polite? Just because he has the human decency to make effort to be kind to others. He's hardworking, reliable, and after talking to him, I always feel like I've ascended to some new level of human consciousness. Also, he appreciates the concept of personal space, unlike some. Uh, are you done yet? No, you're just being jealous. Go fish yourself, Eiler. See? No human decency. Vincent would be like, would you kindly back off? That's the same thing. <laughs> Might as well be. I wonder if he's ever gotten angry at someone. He just has high self-control. I lost mine somewhere along the way when I tried to prove that I'm not a doormat for others to step on. Oh. Ah, so she's conscious about her attitude after all. Mean Henri is the best Henri. Actually, any Henri is great. Yeah! I can't exactly tell you not to worry about it, though. But I like you the way you are. Okay. Oh, Just look at this practice. Oh. Possessions. Hmm. Winston comes over to do a research project for school. I welcome him into my room, with rubber gloves still on my hands. Eiler, you look pr proud of yourself. Of course. Cleaning done. Close ironed. I can focus on schoolwork in peace. Good. You seem to be especially scrup scrupulous when it comes to organizing. I just can't seem to focus when there's something out of place. I end up thinking about a single sheet of paper lying around unsorted instead of doing something useful. Oh, well that's not the, the worst of it. Must be tough. My workspace isn't very organized in comparison, although I don't have many personal possessions. Don't like stuff piling up? That too. And perhaps I'm not very sentimental. I briefly wonder if that's really the only reason, but decide not to press on. Let's change the topic. That being said, remember when we were all about collecting stickers and stuff? Yeah, everyone was crazy about trading. I still have my collection. I can't bring myself to throw away my cat toys too. It's kind of embarrassing. Why? You must have loved them a lot. Having things you love doesn't make you seem infantile. Well, yeah, when you put it like that... What about you? Didn't you have your favorite stuff? Ah, no. I only bought popular things regardless of whether I liked them or not. Oh, I see. And then? Then I threw them away as soon as they become, uh, became useless. At this moment, Vincent's gaze seemed empty. His face didn't convey any particular emotion, even though he was smiling, which felt horrible out of place. For a second of... It felt like we weren't talking about bootleg Digimon stickers, but something else entirely. 
Well, uh, yeah, I see. You must have not in no interest in material possessions. That's admirable. Vincent pauses for a bit, then answers. Yeah, that must be it. His words sound hollow. Uncertainty. The sun is about to rise. Henry's fallen asleep on a beanbag with his joystick in his hands. Henry comes to hang out on weekends. Sometimes she brings her brother, whom she put grudgingly babysitting. Oh, there she oh. Oh, that is their brother before. Oh, actually. Hmm. <clears throat> And play video games and eat snacks. When Arnie is not in the school environment, she's far less stressed out. Even her voice sounds slower than usual. Crap, your brother is good at reading games. Yeah, I use him as you like if you need to score full combos. <laughs> okay, also, nice dress, Henry. You're looking fine. That's all he's good for anyway. Aren't you being a little harsh? He deserves it for being a lazy but. Have you seen his grades? It's like he's made it a goal for himself to become the worst student of the year. Maybe his mind just works differently from the rest. Yeah, that too. I don't like this this, this look in your eyes there, Henri. You look like you want to you nearly want to murder somebody. But for the most part, he just wants to play MMORPGs all day. Oh man, fantasy star only two new genesis this is good. And also could just could, could also say PSO NGS, but mm, I want to help him, but I also want a break from all this crap. I'm tired of working at part-time jobs to help parents sustain his lifestyle. Do you know how much console games cost? Oh yeah, they cost a lot. At that to a monthly MMO subscription, gacha pulls and merchandise and you'll get my monthly salary. Ah, your parents don't have to bully by all of that, you know. Henry says they motivate him, so if they don't so if they don't, he just refuses to leave the room. I just noticed also Henrietta Henry. I wonder who came first, Henry or Henrietta? Because if it's Henrietta, then, well, they wanted a Henry, but they have Henrietta, so they decided to call her Henrietta. That's the reason why she calls Henry, because... Hmm. Ha. Ah. Hmm. Ha. Ah. Interesting lore there, probably. Probably because it, this is just my own brain. As I just wondered, does I bet ever met... I mean... Be some good theories in, in this in this game series. Ahem, anyway, Yeesh. Henry look. Henry looks at the ceiling, contemplating something. Either I was thinking, yes, Henry actually dating. What? Henry starts counting on her fingers. Look, it's the fifth time I'm staying over. You take me out for nice food and carry my bags when I'm shopping. You even look after my brother when I'm busy. And all of this just thinks a decent person would do, Miss Warhol. Yeah. Mm. I mean, if you think about it, kind of. I fail to see your point. Aren't you the one who's always like, ah, I wish someone would call me princess and take me on cute dates. We'd buy matching clothes and cuddle on the sofa. And he nudges me with her elbow wildly. Yeah, you're far from that. Please don't use that squeaky voice to imitate me ever again. Um, so if it's the point, then... Ah, I wish someone would call me princess and take me on cute dates. With my matching clothes and cut all the sofa. Better. Still, what should we call this? Does it need a speci specific term? If you're talking about becoming each other's possession, then I'm against it. No one ever belongs to anyone. Yet for some reason, everyone thinks a meaningless string flatters can bind people to them. Is it normal? 
to want something you can call your own. It robs me the wrong way. That would mean treating others as commodities, which in turn contributes to a mindset in intrinsic to a capitalist society. Oh, can we go that way? How many ways do we go, Adrian? Ah, you just had to bring your pointless philosophy into it. Just say it in the normal, in normal people worlds. Well, words. Sorry, I just don't know yet. And besides, well, me neither. Saying that sentence and seeing that face equals. Oh boy, she would like to kill somebody right now. Like this looks like. Okay. <laughs> oh, you don't want to be my boyfriend. Oh, you also didn't notice that I have this knife in my hands, huh? Do, do you? Do you? <coughs> anyway, I mean, around me, this sounds actually <laughs> possible. <laughs> Hold on, let me try something. And he leans in and kisses me. Ooh. So, how was it? Um. It was supposed to be this amazingly good thing that every story leads up to. But I didn't really feel anything out of the ordinary. But if it was, hmm, with someone else? Um, I think it'd be the same. You know, I'm not too comfortable with physical stuff. Oh, pansexual. Is there something wrong with me after all? Nah, that, that, that's, no, no, that's, that's okay. Want me to hit you? Now the question is... Is Charles Ace? I mean, if he is, then nice. Nothing wrong on, the, on this. And uh, Henrietta? No, don't. Aren't you the one who keeps going on tirades about everyone experience it, experiencing life differently? Just because I don't understand doesn't mean it's your fault. Sorry, I just feel like I'm constantly letting people down. Then find a downer like you, cheese. Or stop worrying about it. I need to say it in this voice because, hmm. Just look at Fennel being comfortable in his own company. You mean like with his, himself? Or you mean like he has his own I, I'm not gonna question. Vincent's always surrounded by people though. He only started isolating himself just recently. I've only talked to him a few times. He felt like he wasn't even there. He's not really listening to what you say. So my conclusion is that he's full of crap. But at least he's content with it. Maybe he was just bored around you? Maybe. But he's like that around literally anyone. And you kind of suck at reading people. I bet Fennel's kind of person would populate a planet with clones of himself and be happy about it. Yeah, can I, can I watch that? <laughs> Where did that come from? If I cloned myself or had my personality divided into parts, it'd end, up, end in a mess. Sayori. Now you're being weird. Anyway, I guess it's stupid to try and mold you into something you're not. Even if you do everything a romantic partner would, it's pointless if you're not feeling it. I'm sorry. There you go again. It should be a thank you, shouldn't it? You're right. Thank you, Henri. Paralysis.